Hey there Pisces, welcome to weekly tarot reading for February 20th to the 26th. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. So I'm jumping straight on in Pisces with the Moon Child Tarot and the first one out is the Four of Wands. Okay, you know we'll, we'll find out what the flavour is as we keep going but this can be a milestone reached um, of, of safety and security really and yes it can be in your abundance, it can actually be in relationship as well. It is a very happy, you know, energy or a gateway to it it's also the 1111 card if you've been seeing that number or it's escalating for you um, there's divine guidance in that so you often get it at times that you're making a key decision um, or it is an awakening code you know where you might be going through a little bit of a spiritual ascension let's see what we've got yeah, spiritual ascension I pulled the hermit now Pisces this is a very very spiritual energy where you might be going through a process of seeking. Now that could be seeking clarity in a life area. That could be seeking about, well, you know, who are we? What are we here? What's our, what's my, or what's everyone's life purpose? That kind of energy. Now, sometimes with the Hermit, if we come down to earth a little bit, this is really about seeking a new path as well. So you might be in the process of wondering, well, you know, how can I get to my Four of Wands, my happy ever after, okay? At the moment, it might feel like you've lost your way on that path. Um, but the, the Hermit says that you have inner wisdom within. And all you need to do is find that first step. And then often when we actually step into that, the universe will illuminate the next stepping stone for us. Okay, it wants to know that you've got some skin in the game. Let's keep going. Knight of Swords. And that's when the, we get the quickening. That's when things speed up. That's when we get progress. It's a Gemini energy. You may be dealing with a Gemini. This can be a message or a communication coming in as well. Um, but I really feel like there is that new stepping stone going to reveal. And it's when you take action that the universe really does meet you and match you in, in showing you the way. Okay. Sometimes it's the hardest to find that first stepping stone. Let's see where this is all heading with your nine card block here, Pisces. If you'd like a personal reading or healing, first link down below will take you to my website where you can peruse what I offer. You might want to grab my Learn Tarot Quick Guide um, so you can start interpreting the cards for yourself. If you want to take your tarot journey further, I've got my more immersive tarot journey, The Initiation. Doors are open to that. And join me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok for daily readings and daily love readings. And sometimes I pull cards as well for followers. Use the links down below underneath the video because, well, at least on Instagram, there are scam accounts going around and I don't want you to end up in the wrong place. So I'd love to have you over there. Okay, I'm gonna see you in just a moment. I'm gonna speed things up. Okay, so Pisces, these are your cards. An interesting story has emerged here. Um, you'll notice that I, I finished on that um, Seven of Swords, and I'm like, okay, what is this about? I'll pull one more to clarify it. And I've got the Four of Wands, okay, at the end of the reading again. So um, I'll have to start with the fact that I think that you have gone through some kind of loss or, I mean, look, at there's so many different layers to this. It could be a deception or a betrayal. It could have been a sabotage. Could have been somebody undermining you in terms of reaching the Four of Wands, which can be in a relationship, it can be a milestone towards buying a home or, you know, working towards stability and security. So that would link to your work area. Um, I think that's actually more in the recent to deeper past for you, okay? And I think that you're actually in the seeking phase or the seeking to move on, the seeking to get, you know, into the onto the new path, okay? So I feel like there was some kind of situation here where there was a loss of happiness, a sabotage of happiness by somebody else's hand, okay? The Four of Wands. Because, you know, I think that you're possibly still journeying through the disappointment and through the hurt. But it seems to me that this week or in the weeks around this reading Pisces, you get to this energy. And I love the two of wands for you because it's somebody who's ready to move forward. It is the energy of, okay, yeah, I've, I've reached the point where I've acknowledged that this has happened and there's no going back. And in fact, 
the situation that I was dealing with was a bit of a house of cards or a tower. You might have been dealing with someone who wasn't loyal or was dishonest and that comes in many different forms. But now I'm actually ready to broaden my horizons and I'm ready to take action and get out there and embrace new potential. So I can see that you've, you've arrived at that point where it's like, okay, I'm ready to move on. Now, um, yeah, the, I mean, I've got the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands here. So I feel like you went through quite a, a hard ending here. Now, some of you may be going through this now, Pisces, and I'm very sorry if you are. But what you need to keep in mind is that this is going to give way to the sun energy for you, which is that new dawn, new day. It is a silver lining. Now, you might not be able to see that right now, Pisces, okay? We often can't when we're really in the midst of something that feels quite, you know, almost traumatic for us. Um, but there are, let me look at that Knight of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles there. There is a golden offer with your name on it coming. So, look, this could have been the loss of a job, the loss of a relationship, the loss of money or something like that. And I think you did, you know, go through it. You really went through it. And I think you're coming out of maybe a little bit of a depression or you're coming out of, you know, look, I've done enough staying at home and grieving over this. It's time for me to get back out there again. Up until now, there's been a little bit of an attachment to that situation, a little bit of like still sending energy to it. But I think now you're ready to, to move towards that new potential and reinvest in another area, okay? Um... The Ten of Wands here says that it really has weighed you down. It's been quite a burden on you, but you do have energy to transition on. So I ask you, Pisces, what is it that you need to move on? Is it um, a new job? Is it um, an increase in your money? Is it a new home to live in? Is it some kind of help from somebody? If you are seeking or wanting to meet someone else, and this has happened in your past and you're harboring you know, worries about, you know, exposing your heart to somebody else. Well, spirit would say with this energy that there could be a new offer or opportunity coming your way. So it's really like, well, are you going to allow that experience to color the potential new beginning that is here for you? So we've got the Knight of Cups in Pisces. This is generally your energy for me. And I've got the Ace of Pentacles. This is the first stepping stone that we talked about with the Hermit energy. It feels like there is a glimmer of hope or a light at the end of the tunnel or a new opportunity that is coming in. Um, and really it's up to you, Pisces, whether you are ready to receive that so that you can finally move out of your Hermit's journey. You can finally reconnect with the world. You can finally get out there and start moving forward again. So... Um, the hermit is like you've been in this kind of cocooning or this keeping to yourself and now it's saying you know come on Pisces you know those butterfly wings are, are, are budding and it's time to dry them off and and soar again okay so I think that this is coming for you but my advice is that you need to be seeking what it is that you're looking for the two of wands is someone who's planning and doing and taking action to draw this Ace of Pentacles towards themselves. So like I said, if you, um, if it's a, a new work or new clients that you're seeking, then take some steps, show the universe your skin in the game, and you will be met in that. If I need housing to move on from a situation or something like that, be applying, doing the applications, do your part of the work, and you will be rewarded. That is what I'm feeling here, Pisces. Now, I also have the King of Swords here, and... This is an Aquarian energy, and this is often about reinventing or innovating your approaches that you are taking here to bring in this Ace of Pentacles. So often there's an online um, element with the Two of Wands and the King of Swords. So whatever it is that you are seeking or the changes or the process that you're going through, if you're not looking online, then Spirit is saying that you need to be doing so, or you need to be taking some kind of different approach here. The King of Swords is also asking you to take a step back and look at the big picture there, here. Yeah, you went through this, or you're going through this, but this is some kind of catalyst or some kind of portal 
for you to truly find this in the future. Okay, so there is divine redirection here as well. So the King of Swords knows that, you know, if you stay in the energy of, you know, the Hermit and, and the Ten of Swords and the pain and the hurt of this, then generally you will attract more of that energy. But by transcending that, by raising your vibration, by moving past it and just getting on with things, you know, that is when you actually change your reality. That's when you transform your reality towards a much brighter future. So do the work, take the action, invest in the new path. And that Ace of Pentacles, that divine gift, that golden gift with your name on it, feels like it is the final piece that can really transition you, you know, to the new. I was noticing this card, the, the reef down here, which is actually the same as on the world, the dancer going through the reef on the very last major arcana. This is you actually going through the portal into a whole new chapter or new era where it feels more positive and more abundant for you but call it in do the work do the work and you will be rewarded so that's your cards pisces let's grab a couple of oracles start with moonology a new rom romantic cycle approaches now this does not necessarily mean just love although we do have the knight of cups here but you can fall in love with a new home you can fall in love with a new job or a new contract here as well either way we know there is a new cycle coming that feels more balanced for you but with the knight of cups in the reading if you are seeking love and you're ready for that that absolutely can be someone who's coming forward to express their heart and express their feelings as well guidance your ships will come in, Pisces, and you are being guided to take the steps and clear the path to allow them to do so. So let's read this one. When you make divine intelligence your foundation, you finally have a fixed star to follow. So if you're seeing 1111, remember we started the reading by talking about that you are being guided. Just come back and be very mindful of what you're thinking in the exact moment you know, because there is some kind of divine wisdom coming through to really help steer your course here and have you, you know, head in the direction of the star, which is your life purpose, what spirit really wants for you in this lifetime. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. And yeah, I'm sorry if you had to go through that seven and ten of swords. Um, no one loves that, but we have to remember we're all here to learn really important life lessons. And, you know, the four of, of wands is also here um, and you're being guided towards that. So um, I'm cheering you on, Pisces, and of course wishing you a lot of love and magic. Do take care of yourself. Bye for now.